Our PPM is the modern solution for project portfolio management on the Microsoft Power Platform. Right now we are at the landing page or the welcome page, where you can quickly get access to your ideas, portfolios, projects or initiatives, programs and much more. You can further customize this welcome page to your colors and your navigation items. Let's start by navigating to Initiatives or Projects Overview. Here you can see all the projects you have access to, the type of project, the status, for instance, active, on hold or closed, the last KPI status set by the project manager, and the progress completion from the schedule. You could add more columns or remove columns depending on your needs. Let's quickly open up the Accelerated Growth Project, which is right now a pipeline project. Pipeline means that right now we are in the early stage of the process, which means that the end user can simply type in the name for the project, who the owner is, that it's right now in pipeline, what the status is, a description, link it to the rest of the business, such as portfolios and programs. We have a start and end date, not from the schedule, but set by the project manager, more high level. And then we have benefits and even a budget estimate as well. Budgets in this case comes from our financial grid that looks like this which can also be configured according to your needs, such as working in months, quarters, or years. And on the left-hand side, having various cost categories that you can expand down to. We also have a risk view up here, where we can go in as project managers, and even before the project starts, create new risks by manually selecting new risks and giving the needed input, such as risk name, description, mitigation, risk impact, and so forth. Here we can also rely on Azure, OpenAI, and ChatGPT to help us pre-populate the risk log. We can do that by clicking Add AI Generated Risks and quickly explain what we're looking for. Let's try and write 10 risks related to an implementation of an ERP system. ChatGPT will then help us securely to create the risk log based on the input that was given by the users. Once the risks are added to the risk log below, you can quickly see how ChatGPT has given them the names that you see here, but also the probability statements and the proposed impact statement. By simply clicking refresh and going back to the risk view again, not only have we pre-populated the risk log, but we have also been able to add all the risks directly in the risk matrix so we can click and filter out the risks below that belongs to each of the cells in the risk matrix. Next, we're going to move the project from pipeline to business case. So we change the stage. And here we can also change to another type of project. For instance, selecting minor work, which changes the user input to a more basic project management view, where we also have access to setting the KPI, looking at the project timeline, which is a Gantt chart. We can go full screen here and access different features such as baselines, like this. We also have a resource heat map at the very bottom with real-time visualizations of the changes we're doing. And we also have the ability to view the data as an, an Excel spreadsheet where we can use our keyboard to navigate around and add the different updates that we need to in the view and go back to our Gantt chart. Besides the Gantt chart, we also have access to what we call Kanban which could be a basic view on all the tasks found inside the project plan, showed in a Kanban view, such as to do, in progress, and done. And we can aggregate the amount of hours in each of these different buckets, and more buckets can be added. If we change this view to not minor work, but for instance, an agile initiatives, we will see other tabs showing up, such as work items, which could be the way to connect your Power PPM solution to tools like DevOps and Jira by adding the URL or having it automatically created from Power PPM. And then we can synchronize the tasks or stories or features depending on the setup and obviously track the Kanban status and the estimated hours. From this view, we can quickly navigate to the program or portfolio by just selecting the name. Let's click here. And here we then have access to the program view. And in the program view, we can of course manage the program like we do with the projects, but also look at the timeline, which then consists of more than just one project. So this is the cross projects timeline view. Here we can also do cross project dependencies. We also have the ability to go in and filter out specific tasks, such as key deliverables, key milestones, 
or whatever tagging we have used in the projects below the program. We can also see the dashboard for this program where we have data, we have access to stakeholders, risks, and much more. If you go further up the chain to the portfolio view and select portfolio 2023, the portfolio manager can manage the direction of the portfolio, the budget, the type of portfolio, and also a status, but also visualize the full roadmap of everything that is part of the portfolio. So here you can see all the different projects and programs like this. And we also have the ability to rank these, see the type of the projects and do mouse over to quickly get an overview on what is the current status and what is this all about. Besides that, we can also select this little icon and show all the cross project dependencies that is driving my project and who are depending on my project deliverables. Finally, we also have a Kanban view where the portfolio manager can quickly go in and reprioritize work, for instance, saying that the virtual chatbot should be put into the large project group, which then changes the cost or the benefits that are rolled up, but also the ranking for each of these project types. This is showing the Kanban board by type. It could also be by business driver or by status. Besides the portfolio management, organizations also want to see the cross portfolio view on all initiatives within the system. Here we use Power BI, we predefined reports showing you across all portfolios the amount of work that's going on with the ability to click around and see the impact or what's going on in each bucket, either by looking at the strategy, such as OKRs, categorization of the work, such as business drivers, or simply each of the portfolios that has been created. This view shows you the strategic overview, but we also have views that shows the red, green, and yellow indicators, the amount of projects in each stage, the cost that has been spent and the remaining cost, and much more. Finally, as a team member in Power PPM, we also have a place called Collaboration. Down here, you can access your assignments and update the progress, allowing the project managers to see the input directly in the plans. You can capture new ideas and rank these. You have access to the risks that you are responsible for. And we also have a timesheet where you can go in and quickly add your hours against each task you have been assigned to. And the timesheet is pre-populated with all the tasks that you are allocated to inside Power PPM. On top, it also allows you to see planned or actual work and even remaining if that's enabled in your system.